So in America, we have the right to go down to sleep without expecting anyone to be walking into our space or our place to do things to us. At the same time, we expect that the people that we entertain in a way by being neighborly and kind to them if we see them every day in their establishments or their shops will not be stalking us or preying upon us in the night. We are all familiar with the concept of a stalker, which is usually some sort of young man that's going after some famous person. However, there are other types of thing, situations that it doesn't matter whether the person is famous or not. There are also many women who like to pretend that they're being stalked because they don't want to take the responsibility for how they walked, talked, or squawked in someone's life. And openly, that's just not right in front of the house of God. So they make these litigation papers because they might have heard about something that someone else did to someone which was also a lie. They're trying to get out of their responsibilities in front of their actual betrothals or their actual spousal relationships when they actually played in a way that wasn't exactly right. Americans today understand what is and isn't okay. But Americans today don't always know what is and isn't going on in the world because we tend in the Midwest to be very naive about human trafficking, sexual trafficking, information trafficking, technological trafficking, and where our rights begin and end. A brand new generation of children arose in the 90s generation of getting everybody online to the point that young men today who have just graduated high school might have finished college just a wee bit and didn't exactly complete it and have lack of ethics are involved with hacking and hacking is something where they make either a personal attack or an overall society attack on people's computers systems and lives 